Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. Points E, F, G and H lie on the circumference of the circle and E, G is equal to E, H. H, F and E, G intersect or meet at point K and E, T is a tangent to the circle at point E. Angle FET is 47 degrees and angle FEG is given as 25 degrees. Find the value of X. To begin with, let us consider the chord which is inside the circle EG and the tangent ET. We have a circle theorem for the chord connecting to the tangent which is given as alternate segment theorem. So the theorem states that the angle that lies between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. So let us try to understand this. You can see that I have drawn a circle and there is a line AB which is acting as a tangent to the circle since it touches the circle at point A. And AC is a chord. Chord is any line which passes through two points in a circle and we can see that according to the theorem, the angle that lies between the tangent and chord, that is here for example I have taken 50 degrees, that is the angle between the chord AC and the tangent AB is equal to the angle made by the same chord AC in the alternate segment. So this chord AC divides the circle into two segments. One is a smaller segment which is minus segment in which the angle 50 is made. And there is another segment which is major segment which the same chord AC makes an angle at point D. So if it makes an angle of 50 degrees in the minor segment with tangent AB then the same angle is going to be made in the alternate segment by the same chord. So if this is 50 degrees this is going to be 50 degrees. So let us try to use this theorem for the given example above. Now here we had considered the chord EG and the tangent was ET. So let us try to find out what is the angle made by the chord with the tangent. That is the total angle where we add 25 degrees with 47 degrees. So that will give us a value of 72 degrees. Since this angle is 72, the same chord is making an angle of H in the alternate segment that is in the major segment of the circle. So if this angle is 72 degrees in the minor segment then the same angle is going to be in the alternate segment as well. Now here we can see that if we consider the triangle EGH it is an isosceles triangle because the side EH was given equal to side EG. So if this angle H is 72 degrees, then we get the angle G also as 72 degrees. Now considering only the triangle EGH and by using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write X degrees plus 72 plus 72 is equal to 180 degrees or X is equal to 180 degrees. Let us take the 72 and 72 on the other side of the equal to sign. So it becomes minus 72 minus 72 and this will give us a total value of x which is equal to 36 degrees. So we got the value of x as 36. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this given example, please comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.